Welcome back guys. As requested, making a base building video here for the server and for other servers for that matter. This pertains to everyone. Let's get started. Put my gun away here. Alright, before I start on all that, Or to make cement blocks, all right. You're gonna need a generator. Make sure you put a spark plug in it. It will use gas, but they usually come full with gas. Or rather, no. It's actually only 50%. You can see the needle, and yes, the needle actually works. In any case. Place your cement mixer kit down. I'm going to unplug this to show you how to do it. And you take the cable reel, plug in, and just point at it, connect. That's it. Wherever you're standing is where the cable will, uh, reel will drop. So if you're standing over here, it'll be out of the way. I'm just doing this for an example. Now we're going to start this. Hold up. I put concrete mix in there to make bricks. We're going to start this while we're doing something else. Start a generator. Start a cement mixer. That thing's loud. Alright. Now, I went over some of this earlier, but some people didn't watch the video or wasn't able to, whatever. Alright, um, let's start with workbench kit. Alright, you can make one with planks and a construction permit. like that. And that took six planks. You can see it made a work which hit kit that I have over here. Also, you can take this with five planks and it will make that. Kind of redundant that they got two, but whatever. It works. All right, let's place this down. Let's pick it up. All right, you need this before you can build anything. All right. Hit read. You can see all the different items you could build. Now as you can see it does it's not showing anything you can build. Hit craft and I'll show you why. A lot of stuff in here. Alright. So for the workbench, put your materials in here. This is more for storage. You're not gonna craft anything from here from this. It usually to make the kits, because they're just wooden boxes. It's just going to take this and nails and planks. Uh, this is more just for storing it, storing, 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 and storing. Okay. And you can put an axe or whatever you want there and a handsaw. Alright, so the workbench kit just makes the kits in this form. Alright, you can also find them in the world or buy them at the trader. That's it for the workbench. Nothing to it. Alright. Let's get on with this. Alright. Advanced base building. Let's start with a window kit. Now, you're going to have to... You can see up on the right hand side, the bottom says snapping enabled. Push your down arrow, and then it turn snapping off. 
Okay. You won't see it at first. You hit, just like it says up there, cycle kit type. Because what it is, is you got a large window, which I guess you can see it over there. And you got a small window. So all you do is walk up to the window, because you can use existing houses in game. Now I like to go in first person so you can see. And I'm going to show you how to do the advanced. Alright, kind of get it center. Alright, open advanced rotation is up. Push up, and I'm going to show you. Now, mine by default, let's see. What's it say? Okay, page up, page down. It depends on the controls you set, but I think default is page up, page down. So you click X, hit page up, page down, it moves it in that direction. Click Y, moves it up and down. Click Z, moves it side to side. Alright. Now here's the trick. This is what a lot of people get confused. Let's move this in first. It moves sideways, but that's fine. You can fix it. Pull it back out. Let's... What I do is I watch for the green to hit the floor. See? Just as it hits it, bring it back up one. Now, this is preference. You can have the frame, the frame regardless is going to stick out either outside or inside the wall. Your choice. Now, I'm going to have it blend in on the inside. Okay, now, once it's in position, let's make sure the up and down's right, because it does move it sometimes. Yeah. Once it's in position, here's the trick. Don't click anything on the screen. Hit escape. And then place. You know, hold your left mouse button. Okay, you don't see it. But if you walk out here, there it is. Alright. Let's see. Now, I have an admin hammer here, so it's going to build without materials, but you can see the materials. Materials in here is based on what tier you're going to get. One, two, or three. Wood, metal, and concrete. So the first option it's going to give is build metal frame. Got to be careful, don't dismantle. Okay, so you got plank wall, that's the reinforced hatch, concrete wall. Let's just do plank wall for an example. Most of you guys are going to do that because it, it takes time for the concrete. And a wooden hatch. see it's going to see how it shows on the outside. You can make it show on the inside or outside. That all depends on how far you push it in or out. Well, that's what she said. In any case, you can open the hatch, close it. You cannot open it from the outside. Which is good. Now, as you can see, I can still upgrade this. Now that's... Let's see. Okay, that goes to a metal hatch. This just makes more or less the frame and what's surrounding it metal. Just make sure when you initially build the window don't forget, just build the window. You only build the window, not build the rest. Otherwise, it's going to be very easy to break into. I mean, they can't get in, but they can destroy your stuff quicker. You got option for window bars. Alright. That's the window kit. 
What else we got here? We got the workbench up. Alright, door kit. Same idea. Nothing to it. What I like to do is get it in the center of the door frame. Alright, so the door is over here. Yep. Just kind of roughly get it there. Same thing. Advanced menu. Up arrow. I want to move it forward. I, I always forget this. Yeah. X is to move it forward. So we're going to try to get it in the center. More or less. Z. I don't know why this moves at an angle. It's kind of frustrating, actually. But in any case, it's still possible. Alright, that's pretty center. Now, Y, up and down. Again, get it. You can look at the green in front there, or you can look. Like, like if you want to hide this, you can. You go down too far, you're not going to be able to fit under the door frame. Keep that in mind. And like before, don't click anything on the screen. Don't click that. Don't click that. Just hit escape. Hold your left click and build. See? Nice. Alright. Always remember your frame. Never forget that. And, and the wall. Because you can build the frame and build the door. You don't build the wall, the door is easier to, to destroy. I want to see something here. Because I couldn't get that to go to co concrete over there. I'm still learning some of this stuff actually, guys. But I got most of it down. So let's do this. I think what it is, is you can't go to concrete once you get... Yeah, it's not giving you the option over here. So if you got the materials in there, which obviously I don't, because I got the admin hammer, I can build anything, but... In any case... Let's go straight to the concrete wall. So you can go from wood to metal, tier 1, tier 2. Once you're all the way into tier 2, you can't do tier 3. If you want to do tier 3, you got to do it right away. I wish you could, though. Voila. And here comes the rain again. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. There you go, Lucky. I know you hate the rain, too. <laughs> he said it the other day. Cause as soon as I dry off, I'm soaked again. <laughs> Alright. So. There you go. Reinforced door. What's next? Alright, let's see if we made some bricks out here. Uh... Where'd my bricks go? Oh wow, they're on the back of the wall. How nice. Okay guys, be careful where you place the cement mixer. Let me see if I can pull them out over here. That's amazing. Just amazing. drop this hammer, see if that'll let me take my hand. There we go. Alright, I'm not going to pull them out. There's your bricks. That's all there is to it. Let's see. So, it makes three. Makes eight. Concrete bricks, which is good. Alright. 
chain link fence. Let's drop this hammer. Now the reason why I wanted to show you guys this, for good reason. Alright, I don't need to go into advanced menu for this. Let me get this out where I can see it a little bit better. Hang on a second, guys. We're struggling over here. Alright, I got snapping disabled because it's my first fence I'm putting down. Now, you can see, without me going into the advanced menu, it's already set on up or down. I'll show you why. Let me go in the advanced menu. Whatever I click it on last and hit escape and hit page up and down, it's going to save to that. See? So, and typically I leave it on that because that's what I use most when I'm going to use advanced. What I look for, and we'll zoom in here, is see the pole? Alright, watch. See how it's still moving, 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 and it just touched the ground. So I get it where it just touches the ground. And I build. Alright, let's get another one. Another one. Actually, let's build this first. Alright. If you want the chain link more in the ground, just make it go down more. Not a problem. And you can put bob wire on top of these. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to run into it. I have no inventory space, so that's why i got to do this the hard way. Okay. So, these fences aren't that tall. Turn on snapping. Down arrow, like it says up there. Keep scrolling the wheel. Alright, this is the fun part. So, I'm going to bring it down. If you want your fence to blend in, okay, see the green line? I can't point to it with my mouse, guys, but see where the green line's touching the top of the wire itself? You go down. right to where the white line is. Put the white line right there. I think I got this right. It's been a bit. And it should blend in perfectly. Let's see. If you overlap it, it kind of doesn't look good, but it makes one hell of a fence. Whoops. Sometimes you got to go in first to really reach this. There we go. Now we're going to build the bob wire on that one. All right, let's see how the how it blended. Eh, mine's a little off. Oh, darn it! I hadn't built it in a while. Either way, it doesn't look that bad. You can see the overlap a little bit. Ain't nobody jumping over that fence. And the other barbed wire will obviously end up right at the top across here if you add the other one. Which we're just going to do it anyhow. Fences you can't break in. Only gates and doors can be raided. Okay? Watchtowers I have disabled in the game. Oh, at least it says it disables it because I don't want people building watchtowers and just jumping over your fence. Alright, next thing. We're going to do that last. Now, there was someone requesting about gates. He said he didn't want a pole in the center of the gate. I think he meant the native gate. Because you can build two gates of the native fence and if you build two you're always going to have that pole in the center so it's not possible if that's what you were talking about all right it's 
really best to just build one of these. Alright, this one has, let's see, so you have a single and a double. Alright, the single, is this the garage door? Yeah, this is the garage door, so it rolls up like a garage door. The double opens up like two big doors, okay? I typically build this one, and the reason being a snap over here, will it? Let's see. I've got enough room. Yeah, i got enough room. Yeah, let's put it right here. Build your frame. Just doing the reinforced door. Left reinforced door. Alright. The other one I'm not gonna I'm not gonna build another one to show the garage door. It's kinda obvious. The reason why these are kinda the best. Let's see if I got another one. Another one. Some right here, yeah, yeah. For the larger vehicles to get in your base. And again, I'm gonna move it down to where it blends in the best that looks. Put it together. Go get my admin hammer because I have no inventory space. This isn't the greatest solution, but it's the only way. And that's not what you, that's that I ruined it. That is not what you do. That's the wrong way. Okay. Try this again. Gotta be careful on these menus. There we go. Alright, so if you got a big truck, you just have to do two doors. Okay? And it's not easy. Better to be in first person. Oh, this one's really being difficult, isn't it? not the best but you can fit a large truck under there and you can also take this and blend it in with that it will flicker like you're seeing the flicker but it function it functions and works fine okay I'm not gonna close that other one because it's a pain in the butt all right that's the bad one now this door let me see what this one is I'm not really sure. Maybe this is just a larger one. Right, left. Okay, I see. I haven't actually built this one, guys. Oh, this is just basically a larger door. That's all it is. A really large door. Let's just make this wooden just for the heck of it. And that's where you can go to sheet metal. Yep. Wow. Okay, so you can build a left and right one. I don't see it really necessary, honestly. I think the other one's better. Alright. Code lock. Let's use this door as an example. By the way, for the chain link, there is a gate for it. You can make a chain link. And it's tier two. 
Code lock, there's nothing to it. Hit attach, like it says. Put in your code that you want. It's going to make you do it twice so you don't screw it up. Initiate lock. Now, as you can see, once you enter the code, once for yourself, you can open it. Your buddy uh, will have to enter it. Anybody else for that matter. Alright. I'll go over rating here in just a moment. Alright, I got the doors. Yep. Alright, I already put this down as foundation kit. We need those bricks. You know what? I'll just spawn some. I'm not running all over there. Can't carry them anyhow. Did I put a hammer down here? Yeah. Hang on. We're going to try to do this with a regular hammer because actually there's a stage in this I have not done. patient with me. Takes a bit here. Alright, we're just going to spawn a few of these just to make sure. Alright. Get the hammer. Alright, I already put some materials in here. So I can do different tiers. I have not put the bricks in there though yet. Let's do this. all I spawned. Oh, useless. There we go. Okay, I believe... Okay, it's only giving me an option to build frame. Got all my materials in there. It's not going to take all those materials either, by the way. And it's based on the tier you build. So here we go. I'll build the frame. Okay, you can see you get the option of the log wall, plank wall, plank wall, and log wall. thinking it won't give you the option for concrete. Yeah, because I've got everything in there. That's just wallpaper. Alright, let's just do a plank wall. Yeah, this is going to go the way that I was having problems with it before. And sure enough, it did. But if I pull out the admin hammer, I can go straight to a concrete. Interesting, because I built this with the admin. You can make it brick or concrete. Well, guys, I'm sorry about that. I was having problems before. Where's the admin hammer? I think it's over here. Yeah. It may not, because I already went to tier 2. Yeah, because I already went to tier 2. Oh my god, confusing. So this is not going to be very helpful for you guys as far as going to concrete. Let me do some more testing and figure out why it's doing that. Because I have the materials in there maxed for that matter don't know why you can't because I couldn't even do it at tier one like I was explaining earlier it just does nothing well wow. all right uh, wallpaper get close to the wall 
you got regular wallpaper and mural so there's two of these murals by the way both pretty cool too actually <laughs> all right now I'm sure yeah you don't want to put both in at once you get that all right and then you got I believe there's only two of these yeah there's one more of those all right carpet I don't care for the carpet at all but you have an option puke green and purple nice <laughs> okay plaster this one took a while. I actually FFS Budman figured this one out because I thought that you could use it to plaster the walls. You can't. Go up to roof. See how it's got a plaster spot? Now I'm just going to throw the camo one in first so it's for your ceiling. You can pull it right back out. We're just going to swap on the roof again. Yeah, we can go stucco. I actually got to do this to my base. I actually like the stucco. The camo would be great on the outside walls, but you can't. Do it. It's just not possible, unfortunately. I believe I showed you. I showed you the code locks, the window, the door, how to make bricks that I cannot figure out why without the admin hammer it's not working sorry about that guys really really sorry I did try, tried it before and had problems so I'll work on that and try to figure it out in reality most of you guys are probably gonna just go to wood and leave it at that anyhow walls cannot be destroyed at all only doors and gates this is a gate so Doors and gates can be raided. Walls cannot. However, if this, a wall, this is a wall with a doorway cut in it, when they destroy the door, they can destroy that wall that's attached to it because it just counts it as a door. Nothing I can do about that. But it will not destroy a single wall. You, you cannot destroy All right, rating. Let's just go on the outside. All right, so this is tier three. You can see it says tier three. That means it's, this is loud. That means it's seven minutes of swinging this hammer. I'm not going to actually do this for seven minutes. Just trying to give you an idea. When you all think seven minutes is too short to raid a door, you stand there for seven minutes and beat on it with a hammer. You're going to get sick of it really quick. <laughs> Code locks. Um, you can use the hacksaw. Let's pull it out over here since this has the code lock on it. Okay, however, with the hacksaw, you get stages. Um, let me see. So when it does a full circle, that would be 20%. Like if you stop, why is the HP not showing right? Oh, it will show right after a server restart. It does not show right. Not a server restart or relog. I don't know why, but it is what it is. But in any case, normally that the HP would show 100%. And then when you do this first stage, as long as you don't let off the mouse button, 
and it'd go all the way around and that'd be 20% and you can take a break and 40%, 60, 80, 100. Okay, seven minutes for that. But there's stages to it. I do not have the option to set stages for the rating with a sledgehammer. Um, it's just because the code lock's a different mod and it has those settings already built into it. And I'm not a modder, I don't, you know, I put mods in and adjust them and tweak them, but I'm no coder at all. Once I figure out the situation with the wall, I'll let you guys know. And these foundations, so you know, they can be raised and lowered the same way. The up and down, page up, page down. I hope that covers what you guys wanted, other than uh, the one player asking about the post being in the center, and I think he's talking about the native gates. So, can't help you there. There's no way around it if you're trying to make two gates. Make one gate here and one gate here, you're always going to have a post in the center, as far as the native ones. These do not. Okay. Alright guys, appreciate you watching. If there's something I missed, just let me know. I can make another quick video, other than not figuring that out. It's kind of frustrating me. Alright, later.